hey, at the end of this video, check out the new PhoneDog.com homepage and spin to win. Play the One Pod Bandit. Win free phones. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. If you're gonna bother putting a phone in a box, make it a crazy box that's got a box and a carrying case and all kinds of stuff in it. What's up, everybody? I'm Noah from PhoneDog.com. And uh, I figured, you know what, it's such a like funky wacky box, I do a little funky wacky intro to the video where all you can see are my eyebrows going up and down. And already I can read the comments, the people are like, dude, you're not funny, we don't want to see you, we want to see the phone. So here we go, it's the T-Mobile MyTouch 3G with Google, and uh, it's going to be an unboxing unlike any other just because it's a box unlike any other. Let's check it out. All right, so here it is, T-Mobile's flagship phone for the rest of the year, or so we've been told. Their flagship Android phone, I guess, anyway, because they'll be getting the Touch Pro 2 and some other stuff and blah, blah. But here it is, the MyTouch 3G with Google. It's an HTC-built Android-powered phone. It's uh, kind of like the HTC Magic, but uh, with some software differences, T-Mobile branding, and more memory. Thanks to the folks at T-Mobile for loaning us this one. Uh, it is going to be available starting July 8th on pre-order, which was a couple weeks ago. Retail availability on August 5th, $199.99 with a two-year contract. August 5th, retail availability. So here it is, and in the box you get this crazy carrying case with a little badge that says MY! And even the uh, zipper says MY TOUCH. Open it up, and it's fancy. There's the phone, we'll get to that in a second. Over on this side, underneath the crazy Velcro loop thingy, you have My Touch Tips, My Touch Your Way, create your own My Touch shell design. So you can get uh, some kind of a screen protector. You can create your own shell and then, you know, uh, I should, you know, whatever. Create your own shell and upload it and buy it and stuff, and then you'll get your own shell you can snap onto the back with your own design and everything. Um, we should do a phone dog shell. And then over here, here's the charger, USB based. Very fancy packaging. You get a stereo headset. Whoa, there's a whole lot of stuff under here. So, alright, so you get a USB to 3.5 millimeter adapter with a little microphone and button and stuff. And then you get uh, stereo earbuds with a regular jack. So these guys plug into here. And then you also get foam things and rubber things and a little clip so you can clip the cord to your tie. And then you get a USB cable. And then, you know, this plugs in here so you can charge it or you can plug it into your computer. And all of this comes in this uh, fancy pants foam case, or a case with the custom foam here and everything. And oh, there's something else under here. It's a pouch. So here's the pouch for your for the phone. If you saw the coverage of the launch and the media breakfast I went to and everything else, T-Mobile's pushing the accessories with this. The shell you can customize. You know, get those custom shells. You can get the pouches and the earbuds and everything in different colors and all kinds of stuff. So they're really pushing that with this phone. But here's the phone. Does it have any power? Yeah, it does. The MyTouch 3G with Google. Uh, I have a G1 here, in fact. So here's a little size comparison. G1 obviously has the keyboard. The MyTouch is just touchscreen. A little size comparison. MyTouch is thinner. On the back, there's your camera, there's your logo, there's your other logo. On this side, there's nothing. On that side, there's a very discreet rocker switch. On the bottom, you've got the uh, USB, the extended USB port that does audio as well as charging. Um, there you go. On the front, you've got your trackball. You've got six buttons, send and cancel. And the cancel button also doubles, or send and end, and the end button doubles as power, search, back, menu, and home. So if you look at the G1, you 
got one additional button now on the My Touch, which is the search button over there. We'll tap the Android to begin. Thank you. On screen keyboard. So that's not really okay. So that's one of the big things with the uh, the My Touch 3G. It's got the on-screen keyboard, no virtual keyboard. I do already have an account. I'll set that up later. I'll set it up now. So we can show you the on-screen keyboard here. So there it is. And then if you rotate, it rotates for me. And so now it's signing in for me. And uh, location consent. Sure. Google knows where I am anyway. So my account's now linked to the phone. And uh, you can see in the status bar already. Oh, my MyFace contacts have been refreshed. That's terrific. 3G coverage. So here's your home screen. And, uh, you know, basically the same as the G1 basic Google home screen. It's a Google experience phone, so you're not going to get like the HTC or Sony Ericsson custom UI or anything like that. Uh, the Sherpa app, see if it's yet available in the marketplace. Guessing not yet because the phone isn't actually out on the market. This is a you know media preview. That's a pre-release. Phone feels nice. It's very lightweight. Uh, it feels good in the hand. I think you know very very easy to do one-handed use. I love the trackball that you can do trackball and touch screen. I think that's a great combination. Let's go back to home and uh, let's go to messaging so I can show you the keyboard real quick. So on-screen keyboard on the bottom there. So this is good I think for one-handed whoops for one-handed use. And I love how, unlike, say, the iPhone soft keyboard, uh, with the Android keyboard, you get the autocomplete selections right there. I think that's great. And then also, oops, you can add to the dictionary the long touch. That's great. The long touch is just terrific. I like that a lot. We'll finish the sentence this way. Rotate. Yeah, it seems very easy to type on so far, though I did get a uh, an exclamation point where I didn't mean to. Or exclamation point, a punctuation mark, rather, where I didn't mean to. But that's where the trackball comes in handy. Yay. Yeah, that's pretty good. I like the uh I like the Google, the Android soft keyboard, the autocorrect, that's nice. Alright, so there's a first look, just a quick unboxing. It's the MyTouch 3G. T Mobile MyTouch 3G with Google and all the crazy stuff that comes with it. Your earbuds and your it's really just the same stuff that comes with anything else, just it looks all wacky and you get that crazy carrying case. Uh, we'll have much more on this phone, including, of course, dogfights galore. I think, you know, a, a dogfight with the G1 or a dogfight with the Hero when uh, John gets done with the Hero and sends it over to me to check out. I think that's certainly in order. It would be very interesting. But I'm liking this phone. Um, you know, what What I I thought the original G1 was very interesting, but uh, the OS, you know, has come come away since then and also the form factor you know for me was a little bit bulky uh, this feels really nice um, I just wish it was a real headphone jack on the bottom and not that USB thing but you know I don't know how bad is it to have a dongle I don't like the dongles we'll have much more on this phone uh, on phonog.com again $199.99 on contract to your contract on T-Mobile Wi-Fi 3G all the Google services also now it has exchange support for your email 3.2 inch display, quad band GSM with Edge and Wi-Fi and uh, the AWS based 3G, so it's T-Mobile's 3G. 
And uh, yeah, there you go. Much more on this and all the new Android phones, including the HTC Hero, and whatever else comes out soon over on phonehug.com. Until next time, I'm Noah. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.